In this video I am going to upgrade this HP 3400 MT PC. This PC originally had a Celeron CPU and no dedicated GPU. I was planning to install an i5 and a GTX 950, but it turned out that this motherboard requires a card that supports BIOS and doesn't work with UEFI only cards. So I had to swap the white card that's currently plugged in for a GTX 650 which is considerably older card and because of that I took the i5 from this PC and replace it with an i3. This PC has by default one mounting place for a 2.5 inch drive and I used that for the HDD since I had some spare laptop HDDs which are very cheap to buy second hand and uh, I used just some other screw holes to mount the SSD since it's lighter and doesn't require a very solid mount. This PC has two 4 gig sticks of DDR3 and it had one exhaust fan already installed. I installed an RGB fan just for looks in this side panel mess it doesn't really do that much good for the airflow since I'm installing it right beside the exhaust fan but maybe it does something I used a fan splitter so that I can power the RGB fan from the CPU fan header after getting the fan in place, I just fitted the side panel back on and removed the Celeron CPU sticker and Windows 7 sticker from the front panel. When I tried to power it on for the first time, I realized that it could not post with this GPU and I searched online about it and it seems that this motherboard doesn't have any BIOS updates to support UEFI GPUs so in this step I just took the GTX 950 out and replaced it with a 650 with that older card it started up without problems. I also took one perforated PCIe slot cover from a Dell computer and put it in here since the GPU doesn't have very good cooling in this case. I expected Fall Guys to run quite well on this PC since it has been able to run on way lower hardware I've used before and uh, it works okay when using lower settings. The FPS stays quite stable and the game is very well playable. <laughs> Fortnite I didn't expect to be playable at 
full HD at any settings but it kind of surprised me in that it's actually I would call it playable it stays above 30 fps all the time which doesn't sound that good but since it's stable it is indeed playable this all footage is captured with the GeForce experience or shadow play whatever that is and this graphics card is probably the lowest spec card that currently supports that given that 500 series and under that are not supported anymore all the games are running especially well on this hardware considering that shadow play should have some performance penalty although a minor one but it should probably be more considerable on the lowest hardware possible CSGO run a bit worse than some other games on this hardware you can see in the top corner the FPS counter turning yellow all the time so the FPS isn't that high on this PC but depending on standards this could be called playable you will want better hardware if you play this game very much though and just to show one game which is too much for this hardware i chose kingdom come deliverance as the last game to test this runs below 30 fps almost all the time and loading times when moving to the main village for example are quite noticeable this isn't a really good gaming experience even with the low settings i have Just come right up. Everything for the house. Garden and field. Nice. Axes. 